Okay, this officially might be the screwiest vlog ever because I'm just in a wacko mood. Um, but I want to thank everyone for voting for my ideas on Source of Station because I got over 50 likes. Yay! So now I have to wait and hopefully I will get a feasibility study going soon, which is exciting. So thank you, thank you for voting. Um, I wanted to do this on Friday, but I didn't get to because I was sick. Ironically, because I wanted to do a vlog about colds, so that's fitting. Um, but it worked out good because I got to get some personal experience or a refresher course on colds up close and personal. Um, I am going to start doing a product review on Mondays, so I'm going to do kind of a two-in-one special tonight and I'm going to talk about colds and I'm going to talk about how to fix them or prevent them or both. Um, so colds are terrible. If you have one recently, you could probably agree with me. If you've had one in the past and you can think back that far, you probably also agree with me. They're horrible. Um, no one likes being all congested and runny nose and it's disgusting, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to save you money by saving you the cost of tissues. Um, <laughs> wash your hands frequently. Obviously, that's common sense. If you know someone's sick, stay away from them the best you can. If you have to be near someone, I'm going to show you a product that is going to be an awesome lifesaver. Um, it is elderberry extract. It can be taken in a lot of different forms. It can be in a tea. It could be taken by the spoonful right out of the bottle if you, you know, aren't a spoon person like myself. I just like to take a good old swig of it. Um, you can also get it in a lozenge. I'm going to show you a couple products that I used. Um, I woke up with the cold from heck on Thursday, and by Saturday morning I was cured. It's a miracle. Colds usually last like a week, right? So two days. Pretty awesome. Um... I'll show you something really simple that you can do if you're a tea person. We drink a lot of tea in this house. Tea is awesome, especially in the winter. And considering it's March 31st and there was snow on the ground, definitely still tea weather. Um, this is our newest edition. We decided to try it when Tom got sick last week. This is called Gypsy Cold Care. It's by Traditional Medicinals. It has elderberry in it, but it also has things like peppermint leaf and yarrow root and a whole bunch of other stuff. It is delicious. It doesn't even need honey or anything. You can drink it just by itself. I do not work for this company. I did not get paid by this company. I just like it. So, yeah, you can go and try it. It's like $5 at the drugstore or your grocery store. It's pretty good. Um, but to get the real effect of the elderberry, you're going to have to drink like... 20 odd glasses of tea a day so if you're not into uh, running to the bathroom every five seconds there are other ways to get your elderberry in um, the easiest probably are these products here this is for adults this is for kids um, it's the same product pretty much it's just how much you're getting um, it's delicious it's not like your average cold medicine that tastes disgusting. It's pretty good. You could take it by itself. You could add it to hot water and a little bit of honey. You can make like a tea out of it. You can add it to seltzer sparkling water and make a soda. It's awesome. You can take it all the time during cold season to prevent getting a cold. So if you know you're going to be around someone that has a cold, you're going to a really germy place. You're going to be on a trip on an airplane or a train. You can take this leading up to it. You can take it in an intensive program. Uh, more times a day. The directions are on the back if you want to know the specifics. This brand is Nature's Path. You can get it here on Long Island at places like Value Drugs, uh, Wild by Nature. I think you can probably get it at the grocery store. It's about seven or eight dollars. It's well worth it. Um, if you do feel like you're starting to get a cold, a lot of times people use zinc lozenges. I used to dread getting cold when I was little because my dad used to make me take coldies and I thought it was disgusting. It was the most chalky, terrible thing ever. Um, these are also zinc. Um, but they do have elderberry, as you can see here. They're called Thera Zinc Elderberry. They're about $253 for this roll. Um, they're good tasting. They're not chalky. And I give these credit mainly 
for getting rid of my coal because it is the only thing I actually remember to take on a regular basis. Uh, they have a raspberry flavor, as you can see there. Mm, pretty good. But they will turn your tongue purple and maybe even your teeth and or lips like they do for Tom. So if you have a job interview or something, definitely make sure that you bring a toothbrush. That's all I can say. So check them out. They are well worth it. Elderberry is great. It's dated back to like 400 BC. Hippocrates cited using it, called it his medicine cabinet because it has so many great uses. So it's been around a while. It's one of the only herbs that is actually talked about in medical journals. So that's pretty important. Obviously, uh, if they're talking about it. Doctors who love prescriptions, right? We talk about that all the time. They even talk about how great its uses are. Definitely look into it. People with high blood pressure can take it, unlike cold medications, people with asthma can take it. They're looking at uses for it with HIV and other inflammatory diseases, cancer, allergies. It's a wonderful miracle drug. Definitely consult your doctor before starting anything, taking anything, especially if you're on other medications. But definitely something to look into and well worth the money. So... If you haven't done so already, you could find me on Facebook at Tiny Toes Long Island. You can follow me on Twitter at Tiny Toes Lena. You can shoot me ideas for vlogs and or product reviews. Sticking in the natural and organic and homeopathic thing. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. And hopefully I'll hear from some of you soon. And hopefully it gets warmer and we can get out of the cold season. Alright, have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Moon. Good night, YouTube.